Hello and welcome to a brand new, but not actually that brand new because I'm kind of sort of behind Dominion League season. This is season 46. I'm in the D4 division playing against Varug or Varug. Varug. I'm going to go with Varug. For the first time, as far as I can recall, I think Varug is a new league player. <clears throat> Uh, so, you get to open Margrave, that's pretty good. Um, so we've got Transmogrify for estate trashing. We don't have any copper trashing, which makes things a little awkward with respect to grand markets. Um, there is draw, though it's going to be a little challenging. There's also nothing, no good way to trash ruins. There's no way to trash ruins, I guess. It's more accurate. I mean, you turn them into coppers, I guess. But um, So it's going to be a bit of a slog. I do think I want to trash my estates. I think I want to transmogrify. We're probably just going to go transmogrify silver here. Marauder could definitely be worth getting, though. Let's see whether... Rug picks up embargo or seller or nothing. Also got otter for draw. That makes Marauder a little bit more appealing. <clears throat> well, that's pretty good order. So I hit three again. Not the end of the world. I would have definitely considered a Marauder had I had four, but now I guess I'm just picking up another silver. We're going to need a fair number of silvers, I think. So I don't... I mean, we're going to T-Mog the estates and end up with yet more silvers. So I guess we probably won't need to buy many more silvers, but I think buying at least one more to have in my next shuffle is going to be good. Well, honestly, I mean, I just saw five of my coppers, which means in the in these six cards, there's only two more coppers. So that's really bad. <laughs> like I'm already pretty far behind because I'm not even coming close to hitting Margrave here. I guess if I get the if I don't bottom deck my T mug, okay. Yeah. So. Next turn, being able to turn an estate into a silver should at least be enough to be able to give me the Margrave, I would think. Unless I get attacked again, which is a distinct possibility now that I think about it. If that happens... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, do we want a third silver already? We can always T-Mog silvers into hostelries, or I guess advisors eventually. I don't know that that's... we want to rely on doing that, but I guess we can also T-Mog into Grand Markets at some point, so... Alright, we can hit Mar or hit Margrave if we don't get attacked, but we totally are going to get attacked. Uh, so, if we do this, we have... we still hit 5. Okay. Still way behind, but yeah, five two just looks a lot better here. Being able to get the Margrave early, being able to, to attack and draw. I also didn't see my Tmog on turn three, which would have helped a lot. I think picking up more hostelries makes a lot of sense for Rug. Six. Okay. So even if we get attacked here, we'll have five because 
I have Silver Silver Copper. Um, this is probably just a hostelry and two horses. Okay, um, do we want to... I guess we're just going to go big here, even though we're getting attacked. There's some thought to, like, not keeping the horse, but meh. Yeah, that's nice. Getting to otter the horses, if you have the actions. I guess Virg is taking another hostelry, big hostelry here. At some point that starts to be overkill, like, you want to get some payload. I think Virg could use a T-Mog, actually, uh, for that reason. Okay, well... I do have some more payload because of the silvers. I guess for has at least one silver. I think I, I think I do have four silvers though. But yeah, I'm gonna take another hostelry. I mean, the, we are village limited on, on this board, right? There's only the hostelries, so they are an important card for sure. Looks like I'm probably going to get attacked again here, unfortunately. Yep. All right, do I want to keep my T-Mog? Hmm. I can play the T-Mog as an otter if I really need to. I think that probably means I should. I don't know. It's, it's tough. There's also the question of whether I should play the horse as an otter or not. I've only got the one other hostelry right now. I guess otter also makes marauder somewhat less appealing. Although, I mean, not that I'm really thinking about marauder too much right now. I was talking about it earlier. The... The limited villages does still mean that that's not amazing. <laughs> okay, maybe Virg is going to take... Oh. Thinking going to take payload here, but... Oh, there's the T-Mog, okay. Right, so I think I'm going to do this, and then hmm. I think we'll just play that. We could take a seller. It's really too bad I didn't at least hit four. Seller's not terrible. I mean, I could just take another silver. I don't need that much silver, but I'm probably going to get another one next turn or the turn after off my T-Mog. I might T-Mog into Hostelry, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to take a silver. Yeah, this would be a good turn to, to grab a Hostelry. Uh, 
I'm probably not discarding for horses. I probably wasn't going to. Well, if I hadn't gotten attacked, I guess I might have. But of course, I'm getting attacked. My opponent is drawing way too well. I mean, not to get attacked. I mean, I guess it could make sense to discard a silver for a horse. I don't think so. I could see Verd going hostelry team out here. The Verd doesn't need more hostelries, but. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, well. my last chance to get a horse. Maybe I should take it. Hmm. I guess we don't want to trigger this shuffle. Okay. So we... Probably want a second Margrave at this point. Kind of want a second T-Mog, but that's going to be a little... Well, I can't get that and a Margrave, obviously. I'm going to go Margrave. Could go Seller. Could go Embargo. sure what I would be embargoing. I don't necess wouldn't necessarily have to decide now, of course. Yeah, seller's probably better. Yeah, the number of um, the number of hostelries my opponent took is pretty obnoxious. I mean, they haven't translated it into anything super valuable at this point, but still. Play this horse normally. Probably. We've got two Margraves. Want to just sell her everything here? Probably. Play Margrave. Well, I guess we're not going to do that. Uh, do you want to take another silver? I guess so. Mm -hmm. I might have to start looking at taking advisors. Is I just don't have that many hostelries. It's not really what I want to be doing. Oh, I do have a... Hmm. I guess we're just not playing the T-Mog this turn, probably. I mean, we could discard a Margrave and go Silver to Advisor. I guess that could make sense. Hmm. Maybe I should just save it for the estates. No, uh, I think the extra gain might be better. Maybe this will convince... Well, I guess 
Three would deny me hostelry regardless. I was going to say, convince them that I don't have a hostelry in hand. Looks like a weird move to discard Margrave otherwise. Yeah, they have seven hostelries. Pretty annoying. Interesting. I wonder whether Rug should be taking Grand Market here. The fact that they didn't get their T-Mog down, like that's the easiest way to get Grand Markets, is you buy fives and you then you T-Mog them, but they didn't get the T-Mog down, so that's not really going to work. They could still go, go for like Gravel and plan to do it over a couple turns. They could also just start greening and probably win. I mean, really, this is pretty... Pretty resignable for me, but since I haven't seen Varug like commit to a way to try to win the game yet, I'm willing to play it a little bit longer and see what they're gonna do, or if they maybe make a mistake I can take advantage of. Margrave Gold. Hmm, that seems Weird to me. Huh. Well, that's exactly what happened. Maybe not for that reason. They denied me the hostelry. Okay, so we only have so many horses to work with, but then again, over time, we're gonna. Yeah, never mind. We gotta. We gotta just play the horse. This one I'll play this way. Um, we obviously don't want to trigger that shuffle. So, stop here. We could grab a grand market ourselves. Also grab like Tmog Advisor or something like that. Mm. One grand market. Well, the other thing I could do, well, I don't have the, the T-Mog down is the problem. I, go, I could go T-Mog Rabble and then plan to turn the, well, I guess that's not super likely to actually line up. Also, this isn't the right time to buy another T-Mog, I guess. All right, let's go, let's grab a Grand Market. Do I want a seller? Do I want an embargo? I don't think I want another seller. Embargo. No. Well, this is a lucky hand. I don't actually think Varug is playing this like super duper well. Alright, I'm just gonna grab an advisor here. 
Good. No. Advisor. That's got to be it. I would really like not to get attacked here. I suppose that's probably too much to ask. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're going to just hang on to the, the draw stuff. I wanted to get that T-Mog down, but what can you do? I don't, yeah, I don't understand why Berg is still getting more draw. Okay, so we don't have a Margrave down there. We do have a hostelry in those two cards. I think I might just stop here and buy another Grand Market. Nice. Maybe a little too nice, actually. Should I discard the Grand Market? Nah. Do it like this. But yeah, that's a, that's actually too good of a hand. <laughs> Get that out of here. Oh, maybe you didn't want it. To... Uh, I think I think Varug would have full drawn with that Margrave in hand. Only nine coins? How'd that happen? They're just still just pounding the advisors. It's so weird to me. Ugh! Uh All right, well. Hmm. Could take another grand market, but I think I'm going to grab all of advisors so I don't lose out on the opportunity to get the draw. Isles are now officially low, but nobody has that many gains. I've got Five buys, Brug has three, and we've each got a T-Mog. Yes, uh, I, I do this. I can always play these as otters. Seller and Tmog, that is. Like, distribution these last two turns has not been the best. I would have really liked to have um, another of those bad cards in my previous hand and another of those good cards from last turn in this hand, but no such luck. Seller province, okay. Not really what I was expecting there either. <sighs> yeah, we probably need to... I really wanted to get this T-Mog down, but we probably need to otter it, unfortunately. This is a shuffle I do not mind triggering. Ooh. Okay. Um... 
I like that last advisor. On the other hand, I probably need to try to keep pace on provinces. Maybe I should take another seller. Wait, I did take a second seller at some point, right? I think. Um, I don't think Berg has three sellers, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, done. Yep, okay, they do. All right, so I, I was thinking about it, but yeah, I think, I think at this point I probably do want another seller. Go province seller or just match that. I could have hit advisor province, obviously that would have been better, but. You gonna buy another seller? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a. Amazing, I still have a horse. Interesting. I would have thought you would give me the advisor over the. <sighs> um. Ooh, how many of these cards do I want to sell her? All of them? Well, not the Margrave, but... Um... Probably. <sighs> yeah, probably. Well, all right then. I do want to get this T-Mog down, so I think I will not sell her it. There's more hostelries down here. But maybe I'm meant to sell her only three cart? Well, no, because then... Mm, uh, this is not good. There's, there's another grand market in these six cards, and two hostelries. Should be. Um, oh, maybe not. No, there's one hostelry. Uh... Four coppers. So this is all my. I've seen all my copper. I so I have an est estate, a grand market, a hostelry, and three-ish silvers. <sighs> I want to not trigger a shuffle because I don't have enough draw to draw back. Like I discarded. I already discarded six cards. I'll have to discard a bunch more. I think I am going to sell her away the Margrave as well as... Gosh, if I, if I draw the... I think I need to sell her four cards. So we're going to sell her Margrave, Province, Copper, Copper. Oh, there's an advisor too. Yikes. Oh, man. I really... Screwed this up. I mean, I can still afford province so long as this is a silver. I guess I might as well. No, it's a hostelry. What? <sighs> okay, we can play... Oh, this was a disaster. I totally screwed this up. I'm gonna have to do it this way. That... Um, question is, do I otter the advisor so that I can't get denied? Like if I, I think, I think so. Okay. We have a Margrave in here, but we don't have a, a hostelry. I think we got to do this. Um, we can go advisor province. 
I'm going to get to. Up to five cards. So we could shuffle an advisor in at the cost of taking on six debt. Mm, I don't think that can be correct. Boy, that was really bad. That was really, really bad. I just totally screwed that up. I did not realize I had I thought I had a had triggered a shuffle without that uh, that that third hostelry in it, and I did not realize there was an advisor. I thought I had another silver. Ooh. If I had just played it straight through and kept the Margrave, I mean, I'm going to be able to play a Margrave this turn. But that's about it. Definitely going to be not a province turn. I and mean, I guess there's a world in which I hit province, but that's probably bad for me to go through that extra card. I'm going to have to Almost certainly gonna have to take Duchy and it's gonna be gross. I should have discarded silver there. Uh, I don't know. I guess if Verg was gonna trigger the shuffle anyway, then I, my discard was correct. Unfortunately, it still looks like I'm not able to overcome my initial disadvantage here. I do think that Rube played this way too slowly compared to what they could have done, but um, double province? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, and I saw my other Margrave. And I don't even hit Duchy. Yikes. Deck Annex, but I can't really afford it. I'm probably just going to buy an estate. Can't even buy gardens. Boy, what a bad draw. Last horse returns to the stable. Maybe I should have discarded gold there, but I don't know. Margaret draws a lot of cards. I mean, it seems plausible that Verg is just winning this turn regardless of what I do.
pretty bad game to be playing against a 5-2, a second player. Triggering that shuffle possibly have been correct? I guess if you can hit double province. Okay, well, I'm going to need a lot of duchies to be able to win this, but I might as well try. Huh? Wh why did you say GG? This card's a grand market. Wondering if I should annex. Oh, maybe have province in hand. Probably what it is. No, that. Okay. Rude. Yeah, I think um Yeah, five two is very good. I did not have the ability to come back from that. I think it, I, yeah, like I said, I think it was cl probably closer than it should have been. I think, I think Verg should have gotten another T Mug um, and done more stuff with that, but I don't know. I could, I could be wrong about that. So now I've got a 5 2, and boy, do I not want a 5 2 on this board. So that's great. Um, wow, this is, mm, no villages. I think we want to play like a gear money thing. I don't think there's any, yeah, there's no tunnel activation stuff other than your opponent attacking you with skulk. I guess we could get caravans. Um, but yeah, this is like I'm gonna open gear and nothing because I mean I guess I could. I'd also take humble castle for five points with keep, but I think getting the gear. Maybe that's not even. Tr well, hmm. Maybe maybe it's not that important to get the gear. If I had a three four, I would have definitely considered opening humble first just to get the points, but, I mean, as it is, there's no, like, no way for me to stop my opponent from taking it first if they want it, unless they also have a 2-5. Um, But yeah, I'm, the fact that we're happy to buy threes here leads me... Because, like, we were going to want silvers, we're going to want gears. Caravans are nice, but maybe we get a skulk because uh, it gives us a gold. Maybe we don't. Pro would prefer not to, probably. Um, I'm just thinking maybe humble is the way to go. Boy. Skulk for gold. Okay. Um the five two humble castle open. Is that what we're doing here? I think it is. Oh my god, are you kidding me? 
Come on! <laughs> what? Like, what are the odds of that? Ugh. Oh, that is atrocious. Blah. All right, well. Take a gear here. I, mean, I could take crumbling in a silver, but yeah. Other gear. I mean, with guess with colonnade, I'd ideally. Oh. Pfft. Okay, no, wait, that doesn't. No, no, it does affect it because I was gonna say with colonnade, I'd ideally like to be taking the gear when I have The other gear in play, which means maybe I take a silver here and then take gear next this turn. Uh. Well, that sure looks like a gold. We are going to want a third gear. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to take it. This turn might be the right time. Taking small castle looks pretty bad, which makes taking crumbling castle look better. Because small castle opens up haunted castle, haunted castle gives you gold, as well as doing the attack. The decision to turn the skulk into animal fair seems really weird to me because the plus buy seems like it'd be more useful than. Like, animal fair is never going to give you plus buy. I mean, I guess maybe if the castles run out, but. Who's going to buy a small castle? I guess at some point somebody might, but it seems like it'd be a while. Let's get another gear, get our colonnade points. Maybe we take fourth gear just for colonnade points. I guess we probably do at some point. Maybe not now, but... I take... Hmm. I guess if Verg takes... Colonnade points I will probably follow, but if they don't, I don't know. Might just take province here. Okay. So we can take a gold. Um, that's probably the thing to do. Still not caught up on gold, but we might get there. At the very least, being able to threaten it seems good. 
they still cannot buy province. So I guess I'm taking another gold. I am at least caught up on gold points now. Okay, there's the crumbling castle. Now we're tied on silver. Unfortunately, I still cannot buy province. So I guess we're buying another gold. Which does have the advantage that it gives us gold lead. Hmm. Okay, here gold lets us buy province. We're still two points down if we do that, so that's not great. I don't really know what to do about that, though. I mean, in theory, we ought to be getting province more consistently because we put fewer provinces into our deck initially, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Going to be the case or going to make enough of a difference to matter. Feels like the margin of victory here, or the margin of defeat, could well be just having that 2-5. Not to mention hitting 2 on turn 3, which was ridiculous. I mean, admittedly, if I'd opened gear instead, I would have... Um, You know, I would have been there, but been able to buy something. That's what I mean. Okay, so we can afford province. We're now down by one silver and one gold. No, wait, we're tied on gold. We should probably buy province. But just concerned about being I'm like I can't see how I'm going to catch up without my opponent just like dudding hard. Yeah. So do we buy province? Do we buy gold. Silver, well, I mean, there's no reason to buy silver instead of gold, I suppose. We buy province, and they buy province, and then we buy gold. The advantage of buying the gold now is we can set aside a gold. I think that makes sense, right? They buy province, and then we buy silver. We are sort of making progress. I mean, they still need to miss province at least once. Well, that's great. Okay, do we buy silver then? I have so much money right now. Yeah, I think we buy silver. Copper's, I mean, obviously easier to buy later if it comes to that. Yeah, I still think exchanging the Skulk was a mistake. Because the Skulk would give you a plus buy. But, um, okay, so now we're up on silver and gold. We get to within four if we buy copper. I guess that's what we're doing. I to set two cards aside. Yeah, I'm just totally hosed. This sucks. <laughs> Freaking sucks. 
Losing a gain on this board. Losing two gains on this board was so bad. Maybe I should have opened copper. <sighs> Ugh. Yeah, that was ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. All right. Um, we have trashing. Not great copper trashing. It can be done. What we don't have is a village. So, well, we kind of have a village. We have a rail carriage. It's just that, like, in crown. But there's no non-terminals so like how do you well i guess there's scrap um like how do you make it work i don't know that you do really um I don't really, really see I don't really see a good way to make it work here. I'm wondering about do we just play a money ish thing? And if so, do we get a trasher? Do we get envoy? Hmm. As much as I like scrap, I think for a money deck, you would prefer salvager. There's also the fact that there's not really anything else that it makes sense to open on for. So going silver salvager looks reasonable. Hmm. Both pretty equally sad if they end up trashing copper. But yeah, I think I prefer salvager here. And buy a gold straight up. Cool. I don't think I'm really gonna want Um, do cut much? Am I? And then envoy. Mm. I think another silver. I, I guess I could see getting do cut at some point, but. Summon Envoy is pretty appealing. 
this turn. We're going to shuffle and maybe we end up drawing our Salvager dead, but we also just get a lot of stuff into our hand. So maybe we do want Envoy here. And maybe... Uh, get rid of a horse. Be the scrap. Oh, wait, you have no actions left? I'm an idiot. Ugh. I am an idiot. All right, well, we could buy a colony right now, but I'm just going to take a platinum. What if we salvage the envoy here? And then like could summon another one. If we do that. We still have six coins. Hmm. I wonder if this business that Rig is doing is going to work. I guess the idea is like you crown crown play envoys. I don't know. It seems tough, but maybe. Um, that's got to be correct to just play the Envoy. Well, yeah. All right. Once again, we can buy Colony. I think I want one more Platinum, though. And we'll do it. Maybe this build is going to work. I guess if you can keep scrapping stuff into horses, although at some point I run out of stuff, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. If you take, like, horse silver, then you can scrap the silvers. Hmm. But you have no plus buy this turn. So you're not going to be able to summon Envoy unless you spend all of your money on it. Yeah. Seems tough. I mean, maybe you don't need to summon Envoy. Oh, you do have plus buy. You have. You can't. Okay. All right. I think we're ready for colony. Probably just going to summon Envoy again here. Okay, now you have zero actions. Yeah. I did not do that incorrectly this time. Um, well, it's got to be crown.
Thinking about buying another Ducat? I guess there is time for this build to like with the with castles and colonies there should be time for for to to build i just don't know if it ever like really works it's, you're not trashing coppers you have a really hard time lining stuff up in your opening hand especially once you stop being able to summon And like obviously the envoy draw is also vulnerable to you know like having the key cards sniped out from under you. Interesting. I don't know why you want three buys over having like five more coins. Hmm. Okay. Lose salvager? I do lose salvager. That's fine. Uh, 28 horses. Discard the horse. Might still have a horse, but might not. Crown, crown, envoy. Kind of want to deny the scrap. No, I should deny the crown, so you can't crown, crown, crown. I don't like to see that. As you would take and take card there. This is the last Envoy Summon. Let's see if Rude goes for Colony now or starts buying castles or what. Actually, I'm surprised Rude hasn't gotten any Royal Carriages. Oh, I can still hit Colony? Huh. I was looking at that amount of money and I was like, that doesn't look like colony money. Uh, yeah, we gotta get rid of the crown. I mean, you still like crown a horse and be in pretty good shape, but I'm one coin short of buying colony this turn. I could enhance platinum into colony while trashing a copper. Or I could do something else. I could I could salvage colony by colony province. Guess it, we'll see what Baroud does, but lowering the colony pile while maintaining lead seems pretty good. Which is what's making me think enhance 
Although the problem is then I have all of one platinum in my deck and it's really hard for me to hit colony again. I could potentially salvage colony if I do that, but um It seems like a little premature. Maybe what I meant to do here is take another platinum. I could I guess I could salvage colony and buy colony platinum. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Not really the hand I want to see with both the envoys in it. I mean, I guess it means... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, this is a regular crown envoy. But, yeah, it's still got to be the crowns. Discarding. Okay, this is a terminal crown envoy, so... The crown... Give another crown... That's actually pretty close, scarily close to Triple Colony. I was kind of wondering about that, but I figured if Varug could Triple the Colony, that, you know, oh well. Have I trashed more estates? No, it's just that 21 is less than 30. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I am surprised that Varug... Buy colony there. I would think you'd want to like go like I have a salvager. Like I mean, it's not in my hand, but you don't know that. I would really think you would want to like go in for castles or something. I mean, the fact is that if I can't buy colony straight up here, well, no, I can. I mean, I can always enhance into it, I guess. So. I can just buy it, so I will do that, and then hope that Varug can't get Colony Double Province, which they probably can, but maybe not. They double summon scrap. Huh. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure Varug's gonna take this, but. You'd hit 27, which means 22 after the four coffers. You can probably do that, especially with Enhance. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like the build pays off here, especially because Varu could have taken a safer line. Okay. Envoy. It's got to be the crowns we're discarding here. Means a silver. I guess if you think you need the money to hit, it's like at some point. Well, no, you have the buys because you have the Ducat. I'm just surprised it's not card, but I think the money is in Verg's deck. I don't think they need the silver. Well, maybe they did because last turn they had the silver and then they trashed it. Molly Trust is delivering an envoy. Yeah. This is Terminal Envoy? Okay. I mean, they probably have it, but. That's pretty. F oh, never mind. They have two platinum. Yeah. 
Damn it! Yeah, I mean, I didn't think about summon scrap as like a late game option. I don't know how much that really mattered, but okay. Um, Looks like we have like actual stuff on this board. Uh, but we don't really have trashing. Right. Um we probably do university. Well, hmm. University can't gain nobles. Makes it. I mean, it can gain embassy. And that means you're going to be getting silvers when your opponent gains embassy. Which is going to make it that much harder to draw. I mean, there is replace, though. I think silver potion is what we do here. I would like to get a replace quickly. I don't think we ever take exploration. Hey, we can get one right now. Goes for embassy, okay. This will be another university, of course. Hmm. Oh, no, wait, replace doesn't miss the shuffle. We get properly sized deck. So, yeah, we're definitely going to pick up an embassy here. I I don't want to buy a silver, so I guess we're not buying anything, which means it would be nice if we had exploration already. But... Oh well. Oh, more silver. I don't want it. I think I'm going to... I think I'm, well, damn, I really, now I really wish I had exploration. Man, I could really use a villager if I'm going to top deck an embassy. Maybe that's not what I should top deck, but, hmm. The alternative is we do copper to estate and we buy either exploration or, or minstrel. Probably exploration at this given, well, I mean, it's sort of closing the door after the horse ran out, but. Um, only got the two villages. But we do get through the shuffle faster. Yeah, I think it just makes more sense to do this. Okay, worked out. Now here, do I want to gain a third embassy? I guess I probably do. If only because it's easier to buy the fours.
Hey, I mean, I really wanted exploration. Okay, gains a replace. I'm gonna get another embassy or something else. Minstrel, okay. I would think you take nobles here. Oh, you could take province, I guess, but you don't have any tournaments. So it doesn't look great. Oh, okay. I think I'm taking that third. Let's see. we could we might as well do this we can hit six here take just take a nobles we've got another m uh sorry we got another university in those eight cards we don't have another draw card so probably getting through the shuffle is better that's unfortunate now the question is, should I take province? The alternative, I could take Forum University. I think I kind of like that. Like, I'm not going to be able to gain and play tournament anyway. Well, that sucks. Oh, you just have that right there? Like, come on, man. Not cool. All right. Well, um... We do need more villages. It's probably minstrel time. <laughs> really? Great. Great. Even if I'd had, even if I'd taken province, I wouldn't have done anything about that. A trusty steed. That's. Oh no, you are not going to pair tournament and province again this turn, surely. And I, I don't know, I, this just is so uncalled for. And then I drew two of my universities. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to take a nobles.
I'm not sure if I did anything wrong here, if I just got bad shuffles. I mean, I took the replace earlier than my opponent, but I don't think that was bad. Um, I kind of want to attack here. I'm going to get hit with the frickin' followers. I can't believe I didn't already, but, like, the point is... I'm going to start getting that going. So we're going to go proper to estate and grab a, another minstrel, I guess. In theory... Oh my god, what the heck? Uh, I guess we... Mm. I have four coins and I play an embassy. I mean, I only have... I guess I have a decent number of silvers in my deck. There's a decent chance that I like hit eight, but damn it. <sighs> Ridiculous. Great. Great, great, great. Um so I'm just going to take another Minstrel. This is just ah, so frustrating. Whoa, slow down, slow down. Come on, stop! Jeez. What? <laughs> what is this? I, I just... Let's take another form, I guess. Great. Yeah, there comes that. <sighs> this is unbelievable. I haven't had like a village in this is the first turn. Maybe maybe I had one university into the embassy earlier, but I think this might actually be the first turn that I've had village and draw a card in the same hand. Certainly the first one in a while. Yeah. Turn eight. I did play university into embassy. So, once. Now here we are in turn 14, about to be. Just... Absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'm sorry, but no, I don't think you've gotten bad draws the way that I've gotten bad draws.
Oh, apparently we got princess in the middle of all that too. Should probably resign. Like what's my out at this point? I don't even know. So I'm going to click on cards. I care about these universities. I don't know that I do. I don't even have a tournament. That's hilarious. Sad. All right, do we want to gain something with this? We probably, it probably involves having more replaces, so let's do that. Um, we probably want to replace copper into, We probably want to attack. Although we top decking a minstrel would probably be helpful too, but I don't. I don't know. It feels it's like that's too slow. I guess we we'll probably want another forum, even though like piles are low. But like, need something to help my deck stay afloat. Not that it's ever really been afloat. <laughs> I mean, my opponent has so much sifting that I doubt it that cursing them really matters. But what else am I going to do? It's points. I guess in theory at some point I'd want to take a tournament so I can gain duchies, but... Surely that was a bad shuffle to trigger. I guess you do have a lot of embassies left. Oh. Rude. Oh yeah, you have princess. You have plus buy. <laughs> okay, great. Put me out of my misery. Yeah, that was atrocious. I. <laughs> Tempted not to say GG. It's just so bad. So freaking bad. The actual heck. Okay, so we've got more oppression here in the form of ghost ship. There is draw and trashing. So 
So... Maybe it's not so bad. There's also a village from Royal Carriage. Okay. So... Yeah, the Jack versus Bounty Hunter thing is interesting. We could Bonfire... And that would help either one of them. Bounty Hunter is more likely to help us hit 5 for Ghost Ship. And it's also non terminal. It's nice. Jack put silvers in our deck, which we might want. I think I want to open Bonfire either way. But yeah, the Jack versus Bounty Hunter thing. I could even see maybe getting both. I think I want to start with the Bounty Hunter. So do we bonfire again here? We've got two coppers. Yeah, we're going to hit five. So yeah, we can bonfire. Ghost Ship does, I mean, Jack does draw back up from Ghost Ship, so there is that, but I won't always have the Jack in hand. Probably just buying Silver this turn. We have Silver. I guess we need multiple Silvers. To be able to hit Grand Market. So we want to save our Copper Exile until next turn. Exile another estate here. Yeah, maybe the Jack Plan was better. Okay, we can get a Grand Market here. It sure looks like the Jack plan was better. at this point you go like Grand Market Destrier or Grand Market Bounty Hunter as an opponent, maybe? Could also consider Royal Carriage, I suppose. No need plus action unless you're adding another terminal, but... Well, you might. I mean, depending on when you see the jack. Well, not the road carriage and jack is going to help, so. But you could, I guess you could see, like, I don't know. Wait, I can't math. Ah! I... Oh man, I didn't get draw my other silver. 
Just kidding. Well, I have one copper left, so if I bonfire now, I'll have... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. Ugh. Jeez. Yeah, I'm so far behind already. Holy crap. The jack was better. I regret everything. I regret everything. This is probably resignable already. God damn. Hmm. Yeah, this is resignable. I just. I get not, no, nobody to blame but myself for that one. Grant, or, uh, yeah, the Jack was clearly the better pick. Gaining the silvers so that you could bonfire along the way just made a lot more sense. Don't. Why did I pick Bounty Hunter? I don't remember. Okay, so we have... We have no villages, which means if we're playing with mercenary, that's the only terminal we're playing with. We can use counterfeit for buys to feed the mercenary. And then, but then other than that, we're pretty much just like drawing with advisor and playing with treasures, I guess. Pretty awkward. Pretty awkward. We even do we want to play? Oh, okay, so the silver gaining helps in general, but we probably don't want to play lucky coin um, if we want to collide our urchins. You know, decreases our chances. Spice Merchant. Alright, well, I'm happy if you don't go for Urchins, I guess. Hmm, that's pretty nice. Okay, so we have a very high chance of colliding next turn. I think... The only thing... You know, I, I kind of want to start getting Advisors. On the other hand, like, if it skips the Mercenary, that's pretty obnoxious. But we can kind of spam advisors, so we should pretty quickly be able to get to the point where it's fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and alms for advisor. God, 
Come on! Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's fine-ish. I'm not going to say that my opponent hasn't outplayed me, because they totally have. But, like, man, I have been getting some bad luck in these games. I guess we're just taking another advisor here. I want to play the lucky coin, but we're definitely not taking a second urchin, so put that on never trash. So we're definitely going to get our, our mercenary discarded, so that's fun. Okay, I guess I'll take a counterfeit here. Hey, we're going to get to play it. Uh, I guess we'll discard copper so that we can trash um, state on oh, his trash three coppers so I am well behind four coppers I'm well behind on the trashing so that's fun All right, now I do want silver, so we're going to do that. And We want patrician. I think with advisors we do, even though it doesn't really do a whole lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's got to be another upper estate coming. Well, I guess I trashed two estates last time. Never mind. Not going to matter. Uh oh. I'm going for the second mercenary. Interesting. I'm quite confident. I do not want that. Seems way too hard to leverage. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe just, like, the short-term tempo of playing it, like, one or two times is enough. My opponent having, like, money and stuff. God damn. And this is my exciting turn. <sighs> Guess they could have the other mercenary.
Hey, Patricia isn't actually supposed to draw cards. Come on. Boy, I really... I really thought opening the Lurchin was going to give me an advantage here if I collided them, and maybe it would have, but I didn't. Came real close, but... I would, yeah, I was going to say I would definitely take Emporium by Patrician. Bye bye advisor. Bye bye advisor. Oh, I don't have five actions in play. God damn it. Ugh. Ugh. I wonder if it's even correct for me to play Lucky Coin at this point. It probably is not. Just, I... <laughs> oh, so frustrating. No. Okay, they don't have enough actions, so they have to go province instead of emporiums. Something. Great. Jeez. Oh, this is so freaking bad. I do. And I haven't trapped that many coppers. I guess I could take a spice spice merchant, but yeah. Maybe I getting to open counterfeit spice merchant and then still getting to mercenary about as fast seems a lot better than opening double urchin and then whiffing whoa spice merchant trashing counterfeit that's interesting doesn't Seem very good. Hmm. Goodbye, mercenary. No way you let me keep that, right? You do. Oh. I. Okay. Um, I guess it doesn't matter when we play the Patricians. Uh, 
Doesn't matter either. I guess I'm just gonna trash the spice merchant. <laughs> um or not. Um Welp. Would have liked to. Apparently I had less silver in my deck than I thought. I mean I can buy an Emporium, so I guess that's good enough. I we're definitely doing that. I counterfeit the silver, nothing really happens. I guess we're gonna go Emporium Hopper. Suddenly we are out of stuff to trash. When did that happen? <laughs> I think we want to deny that because even if we're getting attacked by the other mercenary, Varug is likely to want to trash mercenary to mercenary. Gotta be Emporium. Maybe I can get double Emporium this turn. Maybe. Definitely plan to trash the Spice Merchant this turn. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I need to play these advisors. All right, we have to counterfeit silver to be able to do to get double emporium. That's fine. Because it does mean we're going to be low on stuff to trash in next turn. Oh well. The lucky coin is more important to hang on to than the counterfeit at this point. I could be wrong. Yeah, maybe the plus buy is more valuable. I don't know. We don't, I don't have many stop cards in my deck at this point, so hopefully I'll just draw regardless and it won't matter. But We will see. Yeah, you kind of do need that counterfeit back. It's going to be a good buy advisor, presumably. Again. Discarded province counterfeit, so we want to save the patricians. Looks like we're going to make it around. Maybe we're just not going to attack this turn. That could be the play. We go province, copper, and then maybe next turn we can trash a silver and a copper.
Maybe. Uh, oh, the second mark is in the trash. We kind of would not like to be attacked, ideally. Mm. Yeah. Let's see if we can make it happen, I guess. Maybe I should have discarded Lucky Coin. Eh, probably not. It looks like I might actually win this one. Amazingly enough. Give me Merc, yes. Indeed. Lucky coin. Good. Uh, yeah, we can just play this now. Or so if we go three, four, five. Do we? Do we trash to attack here? Oh, we're gonna draw a silver, right? So we can trash copper silver. We take another silver. We take an urchin. We can counterfeit silver next turn to have more money. I'm going to take an urchin. Just another card that advisor can find that doesn't give my opponent information. Chris doesn't. Well, never mind. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but. Okay, so presumably they're just going to yeah, take duchy. I don't want to have to duchy dance, but that may be necessary. Maybe I should have taken. That wouldn't have helped. Okay, this does not look like a hand that we can trash from. We could take Duchy Estate. We could take Province and then we potentially lose, so I don't really want to do that. We counterfeited a silver. Could take Annex, but I don't really think there's much reason to do that. Maybe there is. Discard an advisor, discard an advisor, discard a patrician. So we can annex and get more good cards into our shuffle. Do we take the debt to take I think we I think I think that works out. Go annex estate. Um, oh wait, never mind. 
We're not buying an estate. Just kidding. I don't know why I thought I was doing that. I could have bought us the estate first, and then I would have been able to do it. I think we discard Patrician here. I mean, it potentially draws more, but Emporium gives me money. Money seems good. I think I have... Do I have more advisors? I might have more advisors. I think that's why I'm drawing better. I have an extra Emporium. That doesn't probably make a huge difference. And obviously I have the two-point advantage from the Emporium points, but it seems like my deck is going a little bit better. My opponent still has a Spice Merchant. I guess that could be part of it. If I'd taken the estate, and then I hit, they buy Duchy, and then I buy Providence Estate, like that might be safe. Probably would be safe. So I probably should have. Although, if I had a debt, it'd be pretty hard for me to get to 11 coins, so eh, maybe not. I can go double duchy, yeah, okay. I think it's likely that their deck is going to suffer pretty badly now that they did that. But, I mean, I still think it's a good thing for them to do. Um, I guess we might as well play Patrician now. So we can definitely trash Urchin here, but we may not draw into our counterfeit, which would be bad. So I'm going to play one Urchin. Mm. So I'm going to play another Urchin. Yeah. Two thirds chance to see my counterfeit, at which point I will have five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I should be able to get there, but... Okay, we got there. I don't think we want to trash silver here. 
just want to go double duchy. If my opponent gets double duchy again, I could be in bad shape. Hopefully they don't. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh. I did not even realize how close that was to a three pile. Oh my god. If they'd gotten double dutch, I would just lose. I would totally blanked on that. Ugh. Well, fortunately, it looks like we're going to be fine. Ugh. All right, well, we got one. That is the... 11th time in a row that I've opened a season with a terrible result. Um... Yeah, I did end up winning the advisor's play. I thought I, I thought I did, but I wasn't actually sure. I wasn't counting. I just was just sort of hammering the advisor pile early. Um, yeah, I mean, I think... Uh, um, man, I don't know. For, for me, <laughs> they weren't very fun games. Um, and I don't just say that because I, I lost. Like, I... The some of those boards were just really frustrating. Um, even this one was really frustrating, despite the fact that I won. Like the the urchins not colliding, you know. I I ended up winning the game, but it was just like a, it was a frustrating experience. The um, I mean, some of the games my opponent just outplayed me. The the envoy summon crown thing and the the jack versus bounty hunter on with the bonfire opening like my opponent just outplayed me no no question maybe those weren't the only ones either i'd, I'd have to go back and look through and look but the some some of those like that that five two in game one and then you know me getting the two five in game two like it's just i mean maybe if i open copper uh and get another copper on turn three if I assume for the sake of argument that I still hit only two there. Like maybe I'm all right because now I have, you know, a solid copper lead. Um, but um, I mean, I still think it was pretty bad to have, like, it's pretty inarguable that you prefer a three four regardless of the fact that I could have bought copper. Um, yeah, so not not really my favorite kinds of boards for the most part. And I don't know what the heck happened in the, like the university embassy game. Like I just I don't know. The draw my draws just stunk, I think. Like I don't think there was anything I need I, I should have been doing differently or that my opponent was doing. Like the the one really noticeable difference was that my opponent got an embassy as their first five, whereas I got a replace. Um you know, but I thought that, you know, like the rep like replace can, you know, get rid of estates and top deck, uh, you know, wandering minstrel and can get rid of silvers and top deck embassy or whatever. And the like having the embassy in your deck when you don't have like that many villages yet isn't like that good because there's no plus buy. And it's hard to get enough to like buy forum plus something else because there's there weren't many like super cheap cards, um, and you're just likely to draw stuff dead. So you know that was my reasoning there. Maybe that was wrong, but it, it didn't feel like that was really anything to do with what happened. It felt like I just had terrible draws, um, which can happen obviously. But you know, as a result, I just was not having a lot of fun in this match. Um, the yeah, so like I feel like I've started. Losing at least five one in the last, at least like in the last like three seasons or something like that, maybe more. I don't know what's up with that. Probably just a coincidence, but like, dang. Um, 
So once again, I'm going to have a hole to climb out of if I even want to like stay in D, let alone promote. Um, but I do have another match coming up on next Tuesday. Um, so that will be um, the next time I'm doing Dominion stuff. So thanks for watching, and until then.